What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video we're going to talk about the fastest way to swap out objects inside of SketchUp. Before we get started, uh, just a reminder that today is the last day of the SketchUp Essentials course Valentine's Day sale. The SketchUp Essentials course is my course teaching you exactly how to use SketchUp from start to finish, including a massive training section with over 14 hours of training, a community forum, as well as our live calls, which allow you to actually get on calls and ask questions live. So if that's something you're interested in, you've been interested in learning how to use SketchUp, um, this could be a great place to do that. That sale is going to go through 4.59 a.m. tomorrow tomorrow. So I will link to that in the notes down below. I would love to see you in the course if you want to learn how to use SketchUp more completely. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I've got a model I've downloaded from the 3D Warehouse. It's the Nona House by Ito Ralph. Um, hopefully I said that right. So if you want to follow along, you can definitely do that. I've also downloaded a couple different light fixtures from the 3D Warehouse. And what I want to talk about is how we can quickly swap out these fixtures. So um, first thing to remember is it's important that all of the lights or the component or the objects that you're trying to use are components. Um, this isn't going to work with groups. So if you do have some piece of geometry or something like that that you want to swap out, just make sure that you've right clicked on it and clicked on the make component, which is what will show up if it's not already a component. So what we want to do is we want to swap out these different light fixtures, right? Just to kind of see how they look. And so we're going to use a function which I think a lot of people don't know about. So over in the tray, there's a window called components, or if you're on a Mac, I think it's just a components window that you need to open up. And so what the components section is going to do is it's going to allow us to see information about what's currently contained inside of our model. So you can see how there's information about all of the components in this model. Notice how there's not a ton. Um, there's only a few, which is going to make this easier. And so what this allows us to do is this allows us to adjust the data or the objects that are actually in our model. So for example, what I want to do is I want to take this model right here and I want to replace it with this light fixture. So what I would do is I would select that inside of my model. I would go into the in model section of my components window and I would scroll down and I would find the model that I want to use. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to select the option for replace selected. Notice what that's going to do is that's going to swap out our light right here. But we have a little bit of a problem. Right, And the reason we have a little bit of a problem is because this model isn't set up properly. So I'm going to undo this. I'm going to do a control Z and I'm going to go take a look at this component. So if I click on this component, notice how my issue is the actual model origin, the place where the model axes are, is way over here. Right, And so when we do a replace selected with this model, what it's doing is it's taking the model origin for this model, which is placed properly. If you look at this, it's right in the middle of the back of this model, which is what we want. And it's swapping it out for this object, but it's placing this origin right here. And so that's not necessarily going to work. So what we need to do is we need to fix the model origin for this component really quick. And we can do that by double clicking in our model and using the axis tool in order to place this. So, or the axes tool. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the axes tool in my large tool set, or you can also go to, uh, let's see, I think it's tools, axes. But what we wanna do is we wanna place the axes in the center of this light fixture. So, um, there's a couple different ways you can do this. Probably what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna draw a line across the face right here just so I can find that central point. But now I just want to take my model axes and I just want to align them so that they are facing outward inside of this model. And one thing that you do want to do is you want to make sure that the green axis is facing forward because that's how the other model was. But now if I click and then click out of this, it's going to ask if I want to update the component axes to match your modified sketch axes. And we're going to say yes. So when I say yes, what that's going to do is notice how now my model axes are at the point where I want this to be inserted inside of my model. So what that means is that means that now I can select this light. I can go find this nautical sconce, which I just changed, right click on it and click on the option for replace selected. And so notice how when it does that, that's going to place this light fixture in the exact same spot as the old light fixture. And so one of the cool things about this is you can do this with multiple fixtures as well. So let's say I wanted to replace two of these, I could select them by doing a shift click and then right clicking and clicking on replace selected. That's going to replace two of them. 
And so the other thing I can do is I can find the fixture. And in this case, it's actually this fixture right here. I might actually change the name, which is really easy to do. You can just select it and you can just call this avatar fixture in the definition box right here. And then you can tab out of it. Well, notice how when you do that, that's gonna rename this fixture. This other one is the original one that I brought in, but that one has like a default model in it and we don't want that. We want this avatar fixture right here. Well, I've placed four of these in my model. Well, if I right click, I can click on the option for select instances. That's gonna find all instances of the object inside of your model. Then you can go find that other sconce right here and use a replace selected in order to swap those out. If you wanted to swap them back, you can just right click and you can do a replace selected again. So for example, I've got this other model in here, which is just the outdoor wall fixture. Well, if I wanted to swap all of these out, I could also do a select instances. I could find the outdoor wall fixture and I could replace those really quickly. I can also go back and replace them with my nautical sconce. So as soon as you get the axes set up properly for the objects, you can actually go through and you can replace things like fixtures really quickly inside of SketchUp. So leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. Remember that course sale is going on through 4.59 a.m. tomorrow morning. So if you are interested in getting in the course, I will link to that in the notes down below as well. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.